Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This video is my makeup basket for October. I'm just gonna get started by showing you all of my empties from the past month or so. I went through a lot of products. I had so many products that were almost finished. Uh, so two of them I'm gonna grab are these Flower Beauty blushes and these are both empty. I did cut them open so that I can get every little bit out. So those are empty and I, I do have another cream blush product that I will be bringing in that I'll show you later. I also finished this mascara. It's from Urban Decay. It's the Perversion Mascara. I don't really feel like this did much. It was just kind of plain and boring and I didn't really love it. I like the mascara I'm using a lot more and that is the Tartist Mascara. I also finished my Pure Miracle Mist, so I'll be focusing on the Scandinavia Bridal Spray, which I replaced in my project pan. I also finished the e.l.f. Oil Primer Control Mist. Even though I did think it worked nicely, I don't know if it was like the best oil control product out there. And with how few uses I got out of it before it was empty, I just don't really think it's worth the money, so I probably wouldn't buy it again. And there is one last empty, and that is this bronzer here from Pure. Finally finished. Super, super proud of that. This is my first bronzer empty of the year. And the last empty is this one, ColourPop Lunch Money. I only very recently finished this, so that is super, super exciting. Another empty in the books. And in my 9 by November project pan, I do have a system where I'm rotating through my six oldest blushes, and I'm using each of them 25 times. And the last one that I hit 25 uses on was this one from Hard Candy in the shade Living Doll, so I'm going to put this one back. And the three blushes that I'll be working on for the next couple of months are this bronzer from Urban Decay that I use as a blush, Milani's Luminoso, and Beloved from Makeup Revolution. So those will be staying in. I do have a couple products that are in a project pan that I'll be holding on to. This Charlotte Tilbury powder, this highlighter from The Balm, um, this pomade from ABH. I did use a lot of the ColourPop Hyaluronic Concealer and I actually really, really like this. It's like the perfect shade, perfect amount of coverage. I only need a little bit to get the coverage that I want and I just think it's really great. I didn't even try the other ColourPop concealer that I have. This is the No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 10. I'm in the shade Light 40N for the Hyaluronic one. So I'm going to put this one back since I already know I love it and try to give this one a little bit more attention to see if I like it. As for this Laura Geller powder, I brought this back in because my mom gave it back to me after giving it to her a while ago and I was just trying to see if I could find a use for it. And I think I'll just probably, I don't know, use it to set my eyeshadow primer or brighten up under my eyes whenever I feel like I need that. So I will just keep it in this month as well. And there are some other products in here that I just keep every month, like this Makeup Revolution eyeshadow primer. It does leak a little bit, so I keep it um, upright in my eyeshadow brushes, so that's where I'm going to put it. And then I have this waterproof cream color that I use as a liner from ABH. I have a CoverGirl pencil liner, my Velvetizer powder that I use. Those are just going to stay in. I am going to make a little bit of a change to how I store palettes in my everyday makeup drawer because I feel like they take up a ton of space. I will be holding on to these three palettes. They're all in my Panda's Eyeshadows project. And I'm going to put them on the side here. And that way it's just a little bit easier to keep everything organized. I did play around with the Making Moths palette a lot, and I did talk about this in my ranking my palette purchases of 2020 so far. I compare it to the Flutter Buy, and I tell you which one I think you should use. So I am going to put this one back. And then this palette here is holding on to some singles that I'm using. This is ABH Stone. I use that as a contour powder. ColourPop Issues, which I use as a transition shade for some of the looks that I'm creating. And then Ripple from Cleona, which is in my Panda's eyeshadow, so those will go on the side as well. And then I have the Creepy Cute palette from Shroud Cosmetics. I've actually been using quite a few shades from this palette as well to go with the quintet in my Panda's eyeshadows project. So I'm going to keep this one out too and stick it over here on the side. And I am working on a shade from this Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette as well, so I'll just put that in the corner. Now let's go into my drawers and pick out some more products to play with this month. All right, so for my first of three eyeshadow related drawers, I do have one new palette in here that I picked up a couple weeks ago, and it's the Natural Lust palette from Too Faced. This was on clearance on the Sephora website, and it is really beautiful. I have reached it for it quite a few times, and I think I'm going to keep it in the drawer for now, and then focus on one of my other newer palettes in my collection, which is actually in the next drawer. So let's just skip ahead straight to that one, and that is the Flutter by palette. I focused on making mauves 
last month and now I want to focus on Flutterby and then next month I'll focus on I'll focus on Natural Lust. And this is what Flutterby looks like. It's really beautiful, loving these like mauve tones right now and I just want to play with this palette a little bit more so I'll put that in my drawer for this month. And I think that's going to be everything that I pull and I think also the same for any singles. I don't have any singles that I want to pull out right now besides the ones that I already showed you. And I think I'm good on all my other products as well. I'm just going to kind of keep using the eyeliners that I've been using and stuff. So everything for eyeshadow I think is taken care of. For bronzers, I did finish my pure bronzer so I can pull another one out. I think I'm going to pull out this butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. I do have pan on this already and I wouldn't say it's like almost done, but I think a couple more months of use and this could be another bronzer empty for this year. So I will pull this out. Another one I might play with a little bit is this one from Cover FX. I'm not going to put it in my drawer, but it's also a really light colored bronzer with pan in it already. So maybe I'll focus on the butter bronzer this month and then the cover effects one next month. I do have a cream blush. I use quotation marks because it's actually a lipstick that I put the rest of the container in this little Besame container. This is the Bitch Perfect lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. I had used it up to the point where I couldn't get it on my lips anymore so I just dug out what was left and put it in here and I've been using it as a cream blush for a couple days now mixing it with a highlighter from Cover Effects. And I've really been loving how that looks on the cheeks. It's really beautiful. So I'm going to pull this out and use it more this month. And I have those three powder blushes that I'm working on for my project pan. So I think that's enough to work with for this month. Now for highlighters, I did mention that Cover Effects liquid highlighter that I was mixing with the lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury to create a really shimmery, cream blush and it's really pretty so I'm going to pull that out and use it more. And then I think I'm going to pull out the Becca Berlin Girl highlighter. I think I'm actually like relatively close to hitting pan on it maybe and when I want something a little bit more subtle than the Mary Luminizer highlighter that I've been wearing a lot because it's in my project pan then I can reach for this and who knows maybe I'll have a new pan to show you next month. But I think that's everything for highlighters this month. The next drawer is all of my foundations, concealers, powders, etc. And it's kind of a mess in here. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to pull out this deeper foundation from Smashbox. I've been using this as a mixer shade with other foundations, namely this one from Pure Cosmetics. So I'll pull these two out and use them in conjunction with each other to make my foundation for the month. I have the ColourPop concealer that I want to play around with more and I am working on finishing up the Velvetizer powder from Urban Decay. I do want to pull this out though because um, I've been trying this new technique where for the Scandinavia Bridal Spray, I spray that on my foundation before powder instead of after. And then um, I want my cheeks to be a little bit less powdery when I put highlighter on, just so that I feel like it gives more of a sheen, a more like highlighty look if my skin isn't like super dry and powdery. So I spray this a tiny bit on the top of my cheekbones, let it dry for a second, and then put highlighter on top, and I feel like that really takes it up a notch. So I'll pull that out for this. Plus, it's getting colder. I'm not getting as oily throughout the day. So this might also just take place of my setting spray. But other than that, I think we're good. I think this is everything I need from that drawer. And the very last drawer is lip products. So I do have a couple products that I want to pull out. This is the Catrice uh, Lip Balm, Volumizing Lip Balm. And this one is actually almost done. I only need to carve out a couple more uses out of there. And then this will be another makeup empty. So that one's definitely going in my drawer. I do have this small NYX lip liner in the shade Bed Rose. I've been using this kind of underneath more brownie lipsticks, namely this one from ABH. It's in the shade Honey. Let me pull that out. And that one is like a very brownie nude. And when I mix it with Bed Rose, it creates a really nice color for me and it is one that I've been reaching for pretty often so I'm going to pull these two out and I think I'm also going to pull out this just a tint in the shade the strand and this is just like when I want something a little bit more comfortable I don't want to wear like a full-on lipstick I'll reach for this one and I think that's everything for this drawer so let's take a look at my everyday makeup drawer all put together all right, so this is my makeup drawer for the next month. I am going to take these two setting sprays out and just store them on my desk. I usually store them right side up. Same for the two foundations. I'm also going to store these standing up. 
If you can see, I do have my palettes, the five palettes that I'm working with over on the side here. I think that just makes it way easier to access the rest of the products in my makeup drawer. But yeah, I don't know if I'll have as many empties to share with you next month as I did this past month. It just kind of all came together. I know I will have more uh, SPF empties to share with you next month and in my upcoming empties video probably coming at the end of October. I would love to know what trends you're playing around with for the beginning of autumn. For example, I've been playing around a lot with like orangey peachy shades and burgundies. I think that together in like a matte smoky eye looks very, very beautiful right now. Let me know if you have found any interesting color combos or, you know, trends that you're following that you think are great for this time of year. Maybe that you think I should give a try. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! Aww.